Today, I wanna to show you a few Google search tricks that I really didn't know for the longest time and now use on a regular basis that help me optimize the way I use Google search. So what exactly might I be talking about when it comes to a Google search trick? Well, what I mean is when you come to Google, instead of just searching explicitly for what you're looking for, such as Nike shoes, right, and hitting enter, uh, what we can do instead is use specific ways in formatting in our search that will help narrow down exactly what we're looking for or only search a specific site. And so today I want to show you five of the Google search tricks that I use pretty regularly and you might be able to use as well. All right, so the first Google search trick that I use almost every single day when I'm doing research for client projects, looking for anything in particular on my own website, is by typing in site colon, then the URL of the website you're trying to search. And in this case, I'm going to use my website. And you say site colon adamwrightdesign.com, then a space. And what you type next is what is going to search that website for. So if I, for example, want to search everywhere on adamrightdesign.com that mentions websites, I'm going to type that and hit enter. And now what the results you're going to get are only results from adamrightdesign.com and any page that mentions the word website. So as you can see, it's bolded in the Google search results, website, website, website. Um, and so it's only sticking to adamridedesign.com. This is particularly useful if you remember reading an article on a website or maybe searching for a product and you can you know the URL but you just can't find it on the site. You can use this trick to enter the URL and then whatever word it is or multiple words, keywords that you want to search for on that URL only. All right, the next Google search trick that I think is a pretty nifty one is similar to using site colon and instead we're going to say link colon and again we're going to put in a url and what this search does in particular is searches the internet for this particular link so if we go ahead and hit enter on our google search the results that appear are going to show anywhere that adamrightdesign.com is linked to so again, this is a really great and useful hack uh, in Google search that helps you narrow down your results or maybe just look for other sites that are linking to your site. Now the next trick is kind of a compound one that we can use with link or with site. And what it is is in searching for a link, you can also add a minus sign afterwards with another URL. So if we say, look for adamrightdesign.com minus adamrightdesign.com. And what this does is show me the results of adamrightdesign.com being linked to that's not from adamrightdesign.com. So it's gonna show you every website that links to this URL, not from my own site. So now we do this search and you come up with a bunch of other website results that are not your own. Another great example for utilizing the minus sign is if you're Googling something that has two different meanings like Jaguar. A Jaguar is an animal, but it's also a car. So if we were to type Jaguar, we're going to get a lot of results from the car manufacturer. But say we wanted to look up the Jaguar animal. Well, we could say Jaguar minus car. So now it's gonna show you results that do not relate to a car. Again, just trying to help refine your search and narrow down what you're looking for. Next up is another one that's really simple and easy to remember and can be more effective if you're searching for a particular phrase or keyword uh, in a series, right? Because normally when you type in multiple words in Google, it's gonna break up those individual words and show results more, uh, you know, not always with those words in conjunction, but if you use quotes and you say website design, end quote, and search that, 
what Google is going to do is show you results with that it contain exactly this entire phrase. It's not going to break it up and just by just saying website or just design. It's going to search website design in its entirety. All right, the last Google search trick I wanted to share with you is one that uh, can be particularly useful. You may not use all the time, but in the situation that you do need it, it's awesome. So what you can do is you can actually search results for a file type. And so say, for example, um, you're looking for a job application or maybe it's a uh, downloadable guide uh, and these are PDFs that you're trying to search. If you say job application and then you say file type PDF with the colon in between there, hit enter. What it's going to show you now is results that are PDF files. If you can see right here next to the search results, these are all PDF uh, job applications, every single one. You can also use Doc for Microsoft Word documents, and there also will show up in search results. Another example here, you could say uh, Apple brand guidelines, file type PDF, and then it's going to show up again with PDF documents. And look, here's Apple's identity guidelines. So I know these uh, five tricks that I showed you today on Google search are a little bit novice uh, and maybe you've heard of them before, but I felt like they're definitely ones that I didn't know for a long time. And once I did, it really helped me refine the way I use Google search, uh, not only in work, but in personal searches as well. Hope you found this useful and we'll see you next time.